now that we know what the uh, parametric model of soil water characteristic curves are, uh, we are faced with the task, how do we estimate the parameters for this model based on measurements? As you can see in the figure here, we have about uh, eight or nine points that were measured with a lot of uh, work and sometimes with different methods. And we seek to estimate or to fit a curve to this data that will uh, give us the values of the parameter that will feed in into our uh, numerical model, for example. So we use readily available optimization program, for example, the one that found in Excel, but you can do it with MATLAB or other software, that will estimate the best set of parameters. So how do we do that? So in this uh, 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 snapshot from Excel, and I'll come back to the Excel itself in a minute, we first create uh, columns with the observations. So we have here uh, capillary pressure or metric potential in meters versus the uh, water content uh, values that were measured. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine pairs of data. To each of these data points, we make a prediction by the model. For example, I selected here the Van Newton model. Uh, we feed or we ask the model to read the parameters from this uh, green block here, and I just guessed some values. You can see that the fit to the data is not very good. We then take the differences between the model predictions for this uh, given metric potential values and the uh, measurements um, uh, are summed up here. So the differences or deviations squared are summed up here, and the sum of all of these is placed in this cell, which will be the object of the minimization. To, uh, the minimization is run by a utility program available in Excel called the Solver, in which you select the object of minimization, which is this sum of uh, the sum of the deviate squared, by varying the parameters in this green block. And uh, when you do that, uh, and you run the model, magic happens, and all of a sudden, you'll get uh, the curve fitting the data perfectly and the best estimate of the parameters are available. So let's see how it's done in real time. So let me launch the, uh, the Excel. So this is basically the slide that you've seen in the uh, PowerPoint. So we have here the measurements, we have here the model, we have here the parameters. I'll invoke the solver that will show up here uh, that will ask to minimize this cell by varying the parameters in this uh, block of data and I say solve. Of course the solver immediately uh, finds the best data and I can ask to to save the, uh, the solution so this will be the best parameters for the model. So going back to the uh, to the PowerPoint this is basically what we've seen in the last shot on Excel. So to summarize uh, we set the parameters uh, or curve fitting as an optimization problem by minimizing deviations between the model and the uh, measurements through variations and systematic variation of the parameters and that's the solver know how to do. And a similar strategy you can use for fitting curves to infiltration data, to breakthrough curves and things like that that you'll learn on, uh, later on in this uh, course. Uh, exactly the same strategy you can to estimate, uh, use to estimate the parameters.